months long ago, the Buddha was born as a little parrot. One day a storm broke upon her forest home. Lightning flashed, thunder crashed, and a dead tree struck by lightning burst into flames. Sparks leapt on the wind, and soon the forest was ablaze. Terrified animals ran wildly in every direction, seeking safety from the smoke and flames. The parrot said, Fire, fire, run! Run to the river! Flapping her wings, she flung herself out of the fury of the storm, and rising higher, flew towards the safety of the river. But as she flew, she could see that many animals were trapped, surrounded by the flames below, with no chance of escape. Suddenly, a desperate idea, a way to save them, came to her. She darted to the river, dipping herself in the water, and flew back over the now raging fire. The little parrot flew bravely on. At last, they were in the center of the forest. She dipped her wings into the river, and in the least, a few drops of water were so clung to her feathers. The tiny drops tumbled like jewels down into the heart of the blaze and vanished with a hiss. Then the little parrot flew once more back through the flames and smoke to the river, dipped herself in the cool water, and flew back again to the burning forest. Back and forth she flew from the river to the forest. Her feathers were charred, her mind spun as dizzily as the spinning sparks. But still the parrot flew on. At this time, some of the divas, the gods of a happy realm, were floating high overhead in their cloud palaces of ivory and gold. They happened to look down and saw that this little parrot was flying through the flames. They pointed at her with perfect hands and exclaimed, Look at that foolish bird. She's trying to put out a forest fire with a few sprinkles of water. How ridiculous. But one of these gods did not laugh. Strangely moved, he changed himself into a golden eagle flew down toward the little parrot's fiery path. The little parrot was just nearing the flames again when the great eagle, with eyes like molten gold, appeared at her side. The eagle said, Go back, little bird. A few drops of water can't put out a forest fire. Save yourself. But the little parrot only continued to fly through the flames and the smoke. She could hear the great eagle flying above her as the heat grew fiercer. The eagle said, Stop, little parrot. Save yourself. But the parrot said, I don't need a great shining eagle to give me advice. I just need some help. <laughs> and the god who was that great eagle, seeing him fly, the little parrot flying through the flames, thought suddenly of his own privileged time. He could see them floating high above. There they were, the carefree gods, still laughing and talking while many animals cried out in pain. Seeing that, he grew ashamed, and a single desire was kindled in his heart. God though he was, he wanted to be like a brave little parrot and help. The eagle said, I will help. Flushed with these new feelings, the eagle began to weep. Stream after stream of sparkling tears poured from his eyes. Wave upon wave, they washed down like the cooling rain upon the fire, upon the forest, upon the animals, and upon the little parrot herself. Where those tears fell, the flames died down, and the smoke began to clear. The little parrot washed and bright rocketed about the sky, laughing for joy. The eagle's tears dripped from burning branches and soaked into the scorched earth. Where those tears glistened, new life <coughs> pushed quickly forth, shoots, stems, and leaves, buds unfurled, and blossoms open. Green grass pushed up among the still blowing cinders. All the animals looked at one another in amazement. Washed by those tears, they were whole and well, not one hit them harm. Up above in the blue, blue sky, they could see their friend, the little parrot, looping and soaring in delight. But all hope was gone, somehow she had saved them. 